Sharuk, how are you? This is a cool truck, what is it? Well, this is our brand new second generation Volvo FH Autonomous. In this one, we have taken our latest FH base model, upgraded it with our latest autonomous hardware and software equipment. All right, so this is an autonomous truck. How does it even work? Well, it's got to do three things. Just like humans, it needs to see, it needs to communicate to those around you and perform a complex series of tasks. So how does the truck see the world around it? Well, with sensors. And majority of these sensors are located in the front of the truck. And here, what we refer to as the mustache, this is the upgrade to our second generation truck. You see LIDARs, radars, camera, and also IMU. The truck uses all these sensors to build a 360 view of the world around it. So what do each of these do? Like in simple terms, I don't even know what an IMU is. Well, let's start with an IMU. It's called Inertial Measurement Unit. You use it every day in your phone when you rotate or tilt. In the truck, we use it to understand the orientation and angle or speed of the truck movement. Additionally, cameras are just like human eyes. They help us to see the world around you. Radar uses radio waves to detect where the objects are, and LIDARs uses light waves. All these systems work together to build a 360 view of the world around it. So why do you need all three if they all do the same thing? Can't you use just one? Well, all of them work together as a team. They have their different strengths. Cameras are really good in detecting color, but they struggle in low light. LIDARs can see in any lighting conditions, but they struggle in extreme weather conditions. And radar can see in any weather condition, but they lack the detail which the camera gives. So all these systems work together to give the system its strength. This is so cool, I'm learning a lot. So if the sensors help the truck see, how does it communicate? Well, let me show you. All the communication equipment sits at the top of the truck. The truck has cameras, which uses it for data logging and teleoperation capabilities, 5G antennas, which are used to communicate to the infrastructure around it. And finally, the global positioning system sitting at the top of the truck, it uses satellite data to determine the precise location of the truck at all times. All right, so I understand the truck can see and communicate, but how does it decide what to do? Well, all of that happens inside the truck. Let me show you. Just like our human brain, where the decisions are made and actions are decided, the brain of this truck sits at the back of the cab. Here you see a series of modules, which uses all the sensor data to build a picture, decides what to do, and sends actuation commands to braking and steering. This module helps us to perceive the world and operate safely at all times. Okay, this is great, but is the module inside the only way that you've built safety into this truck? No, absolutely not. At Volvo, everything we do is guided by safety. Let's start with the basic, the color of this truck. In quarry and mining environments, high visibility is linked to safety. That's why all our trucks have this orange color. We have also added emergency stops around the vehicle to stop the vehicle at a moment's notice, along with backup braking capabilities. The truck also has teleoperation capabilities if the need comes. And finally, there is a series of indicator lights. Their purpose is to communicate the state of the autonomous truck to the users. Is it operating in autonomous mode? Is it being remotely controlled? Does it have an issue? And finally, is it safe to approach or not? This is super impressive, Sharuk. Thank you for showing me the truck. My pleasure.